What's up, everybody? Fire up your Bob Marley, break out your Cypress Hill, hell, even whoop out your Willie, because it's Friday, and we're going to get high today. We just learned how to uh, cook some better food, and now it's time for dessert. My, my, my crops are ready, and uh, we're going we're to learn some stuff and hopefully get a nice little treat here at the end. So um, let, let's see what we need here to get, get prepared. We're going to go ahead and figure out some of this Cannabis Green Fire mod by Jigawood. The, uh, probably my favorite mod of all. And uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to learn about it. I got some stuff going here. And now that this is ready to uh, take about a week after New Year's. But uh, now we, um, we're ready to harvest. So let's get started. We, we got our bag here. We're going to take this, uh, take this bag. And we're going to harvest into this fresh, tasty bag. Uh, we might have to get some scissors, but uh, it looks like we're ready here. We're going to click on these, go to farming. We're just going to take a look here. They're, they're ready to harvest here. Uh, we can water them more, so I'm guessing maybe they can do more. But if we look at the information up here, it says they're ready to harvest. And uh, they're, they're doing good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them before uh, they get any diseases because I have horrible luck. And I've been waiting a while for these. So we're going to go ahead and start harvesting these bad boys. See what happens. Nice. All right, let's see. We've got some fresh, untrimmed cannabis. And I believe with some scissors, we're going to turn that into some leaves and and trim we're gonna trim that up here so let's go ahead and get that started here we're, we're gonna go find some scissors I believe I, I left them in the bedroom um, we're gonna tear up this grow spot here I'm getting ready to turn this into my next little grow room that's that's a project for later we're gonna put some stairs stairs right in this hallway with some water barrels above these sinks but uh let's get started here welcome welcome so uh, we got we got some scissors in here. We'll go ahead and track down our scissors. And um, with this fresh untrimmed, we're gonna go ahead and trim this with our scissors, I believe. Um, trim it, yeah. Okay, we're gonna trim all these. As you can see up at the top, we need scissors. Let's go ahead and trim all those. You can see what that gives us is not only the trimmed cannabis, but it gives us some sugar leaves and some fan leaves, which you can see will dry out and turn into dry stuff later. So what we're going to do is trim all this stuff and we're just going to throw it in our fresh nugs bag, a fresh tasty nugs bag to let it dry out like these over here for later. All right, looks like we're all good. So let's just go ahead and uh, put these in the Tasty Nugs bag. And we got a pretty good haul here. We got we got seven on that one. Last time it looks like we got six, so I guess a little extra fertilizer helped on that one. But anywho, what we're going to go ahead and do is just put this entire bag away, the Tasty Nugs bag. We're just going to go ahead and put it in this cabinet. Because what you want to do is let those those newly trimmed ones, those fresh trimmed, we're going to turn those, if you just let those wait, they're going to turn into this dry trim, which is where I'm at now. And I've only done once before. So what we're going to do is take the, the dry trimmed and we're going to put it in a curing jar. The sugar leaves, you can take those two at a time and grind those up for some shake, possibly keef, I believe. What you got to do at least have two fan leaves, as far as I know, are pretty much pointless at this time besides looking pretty. Sugar leaves you can grind up. Cannabis, we have to cure in this jar. So what we're going to go ahead and do, a full jar will be four of these. So we've got a jar and a half. So what we're going to do is click on the dry trim. And you can see it's going to let us prepare a full jar. So we've got a jar and a half. So let's go ahead and make a full jar. And it 
automatically put the lid on it. So now we've got an uncured jar of cannabis. Now that's got to wait. So not only did we have to wait for the fresh nugs to turn into dry cannabis, now we have to wait for the uncured jar to turn into a cured jar. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put that up here in this cabinet where I happen to have a cured jar already. So after this cures for a while up here, I'm not for sure on the time limits on any of this. But it will turn into just a regular jar of cannabis, which we can now grab that. So the uncured is going to set up here for a while. And our fresh tasty nugs are going to set for a while. So not only do you got to wait for it to grow, you got to wait for it to dry out, and then you got to wait for it to cure, of course. So now that we've got our full jar of cannabis, we can go ahead and open that jar. And that's going to give us 60 buds. Very nice. And if you want to take, let's go ahead and get rid of this jar, put this jar and lid back. If you want to take these buds here, you can put them into a bag. So now we have a bag of cannabis, which I believe is an ounce. I think 27 goes into that or so. Maybe more. I'm not sure on the numbers. So now we got some nugs. We got a bag. We're ready to party. So that's that's what we got done here. Let's go ahead and uh, grind up a fresh tasty nug. We got our grinder set in the table right here, ready to go. We'll go ahead and grind that up. Always use your grinder. That way you build up some keef. Go ahead and load that along. Celebrate. Very nice. So we harvested our crops, we trimmed them, put them in a curing jar, use your grinder to get keep. You can use a hash press, which I have made to build hash up. You can also um, get nylon somewhere or another and make a silk screen for uh, shifting your shake, your, your shake to get a uh, keef and seeds, which we're probably going to go on a nylon mission eventually. But that's where we're at. So we got some, we got some herb now that's dried out. We got a whole another jar curing out with some more that well, I think we got another half a jar. And we're going to start a new grow room project, which is coming up. But since we've got some herbs, let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, do something with that. Let's go have a, let's see if we can make a little dessert. What I had prepared here, what I've been waiting for. Let me find my candy shelf. I've been saving this bag of marshmallows for a very special, very special occasion, which I think we're now prepared for. I think we have all the ingredients. We're going to make some can of butter. We're going to see if we can make some brownies and some nice crispies. So let's, th this I've never done. So we're, we're going we're gonna to experiment here. Let's go ahead and grab this sack to our secondary and let's get our ingredients together. And we're just going to put our ingredients all nice and neat in here. Which I believe the first thing we're going to need is a couple baking pans. So let's, let's go ahead and grab a couple of these baking pans. Okay, we got two of those. Next, we're going we're gonna to need to make some can of butter. So let's just go ahead and grab a couple sticks of butter. I don't know how many we need. Uh, we're going to need some flour. So let's grab one of those. We're going to need some sugar. Let's grab one of those. All right, well, looks like we're going to need some salt. Should have some salt and pepper cabinet here. Let's grab a salt. All right. And chocolate. Let's get to our candy one. We're going to grab our chocolate. While we're in here, we'll go ahead and grab our bag of marshmallows. Check. And we're going to need some cereal. And we're going to need an egg. Maybe two. Which I had thought out. Ready to go. Grab one for now. So let's see. It looks like all we got to do is make the butter, which we need some, some buds. So um, we forgot to grind up the bud. Let's go grind up some of this. 
don't know how much we need for a can of butter. I believe it was 16. So let's go grind up. Let's see. Let's. Buttons. Buttons. Let's. Let's put half of this away. That leaves us with 16. Perfect. All right. I think that will allow us to grind that up. Let's just grab this grinder. Go find out. We'll leave our bag here also. We're just going to take 16 cannabis for now. Let's see if that'll be enough. Okay, so we've got 16 cannabis. We're going to grind all that up. Grind cannabis, all 16. Hopefully we get some key for some seeds, something out of that. Come on. Roll the dice. Yep. Got some keef coming. Nice. All right. Sweet. So now we're going to take this cannabis shake. We're going to move that to our sack so we can see what we're doing. Let's go ahead and put that keef in our fanny, put our grinder in our fanny. Don't judge me, okay? Backpack. Just don't work with my robe. All right. So we've got some shake and a butter. We're going to see if we can make a can of butter with shake. That uses one butter, 16 shake. Here we go. My first stick can of butter. Very, very nice. Oh, man. Let's throw that in the sack. All right. So now we got two baking pans. Can of butter, cereal chocolate, egg, flour, salt, sugar, and a special bag of marshmallows. Let's see what we can make here. Um, if we click on the baking pan, we're going to make some special brownies. You can see the ingredients up there. Looks like I got all the stuff. Make those bad boys up. It's the first time I've done this. I don't know if we're going to miss anything, maybe. I know I had to go on a mission to, to rob some baking pans from the neighbors. I don't think they're going to miss them. All right, and let's go to our other baking pan. All right, something happened here, so we're probably missing some. Oh, look at that pan of brownies. Nice. All right, so what are we missing on the nice crispies? We need more can of butter, so we're going to have to make more shake. 16 more. All right, so now we know. You need a whole stick of can of butter for one pan of brownies. Probably a whole stick for the Krispies, man. Far out. Well worth it, well worth it. That's why we got a grow room going. That's why we're learning how to do all this together. All right, so we're going to grind all this up. Some seeds, nice, nice. So we got some keef and some seeds on that one. Throw the keef in the fanny, seeds in the fanny. Grinder went back in the fanny. All right, let's see. We've got shake. We're gonna move that to the sack. I don't think any of that matters. But now we've got the butter and the shake. So let's make another can of butter with shake. We can make some pie. Nice. Making a can of butter. All right, so now we're going to click on the baking pan again and make some nice crispies. You can see the ingredients above me there. So let's make some nice crispy treats. Awesome. Awesome. Put this in the uh, put the saucepan in the sack. We're just going to set this sack on the floor for now. We're done with that for now, and we have our pan of brownies, a pan of nice crispy treats. Come over here and get a knife somewhere. Very, very nice. We are going to enjoy our fresh, nice crispies. What should we have first here? Go ahead and vote in the chat. Brownies. Let's cut up some special brownies. How many did we get out of that? 16. Nice. We got like a gram in each brownie. And let's cut up some nice crispies. Got to have the knife for that. And we got 16 of those as well. Very, very nice. Let's put our baking pan in that sack. Don't need our knife anymore. Uh, I guess I had a fork from my salad from earlier. All right, so we've got 16 brownies, 16 nice crispies, and we learned how to harvest buds and put them in a jar, which the jar was the hardest part of this entire thing for me. I luckily found a box of jars in a garage 
but boy, that took about three towns worth of looting to find. And I'm going to enjoy one of these nice crispies, put the rest in the fridge, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a nap. So let's go ahead and put all these brownies in the fridge. I'm going to put all these crispies in the fridge. And we're going to take one crispy back out. Do, 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 do. Buttons. We're going to sit here on our rug, man. We're going to enjoy our first ever nice crispy treat. Very, very nice. We're definitely going to sleep good tonight. And since we're here, let's just go ahead and smoke a spliff, you know, to celebrate the new harvest. All right, folks. Well, hopefully we all learned something. I know I did. I learned that marshmallows and jars are really hard to find. All right, so it's nap time now. I can tear down my little indoor garden experiment. It worked great. So we're going to convert another grow room for another day for another project. So I hope you guys have fun. And uh, it's, it, it's nap time. So get, get out of here, would you? Just go away. Leave. 